Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. Many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been uh, watching my videos for a while and have not, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the video just give good vibes of insight you truly need it, go ahead, give a thumbs up and share. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, and sending so much love, light, protection, and calmness and balance towards your life. Anybody who's coming in with negative, you know, negative vibrations as well as frequency and you're trying to seek, destroy, or distract, I'm going right back towards you 20 million times fold. It's that mind's going to be with light, healing, and balance. Um, the video I'm about to do today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's the gift, um, the gift of spiritual transition. We weren't expecting. Ooh, Jesus. I don't know what the heck that was. Um, I forgot what it is. I don't know. I'm trying to remember what kind of moon we are in right now, but whatever it is, is really, uh, guiding you towards seeing different things for what they truly are. Being able to accept, uh, what has taken place, being able to appreciate and show gratitude on different changes that has really taken place into your life that really brought, you know, a, a, a lot of uh, uh, wisdom towards your way, a lot of knowledge towards your way, the strength that it brought towards your life. And I'm trying to really remember what the heck that, that daggone moon that they were talking about we're in. But, um, you know, going through these crazy periods in our life is really hitting, you know, it's hitting different right now. You're just like really trying to understand. Uh, okay ooh, collapse in paradigms that's pretty much what it's like what we're going through and when i tell you it's like uh being able to see things for what they are and making big decisions stepping out on the leap of faith uh trust in the process trust in the universe you know and a lot of times that can be very challenging into your life because it's like it just seems like the more you purge and more you uh project uh, no, not project, but cut cords on a lot of different things, you know, letting go of different people that are no longer serving you. When you clear all that out, it is like when you clearing all that out, it made room for all these upgrades and downloads. And when I'm telling you, it'll make you have this epiphany of things like, oh, you know, you really trying to, it's like, this is what y'all were trying to tell me the whole time. And when I tell you, it, it just seems like, um, everything has intensified. You're becoming extra. Uh, it's like this, uh, what is that? Uh, that sensory you know it's like whatever you're going through it's i forgot what it's called something sensory but i can't remember but it, it's just like it's allowing you to see the greatness and everything that you're going through it's allowing you to see you know be bold in your choices be very uh, you know unapologetic through uh projecting the authenticity of yourself you know being able to be aware of your surroundings uh observing your surroundings not absorbing it um, being grateful for every single thing that goes on into your life because a lot of things that's taking place in your life is really hitting heavy you know um, and you're really trying to understand some different things because it's just like you know I can get uh, I'm getting getting so many downloads where I see different people that uh, are dreaming or not not just dreaming but daydreaming about like spirit told them you know they're guiding you towards a cave or I, I see different ones where the spirit told, told them is like or uh, really connecting with you um and giving you the insider information that you're supposed to have it's like you know you're having these really crazy vivid dreams where i see people you know um let me see how if i can put this into words i'm trying to see the word that i want to do use um like you're seeing hieroglyphs because there'll be certain ones like the incas the, May the mayans and you know our ancestral tribes and stuff that they left left all these markings but they they did it in a way only that special a uh, person can be able to uh, uh, configure it, you know, being able to switch it up to be able to show the real true meaning from what I'm seeing. There will be different things. It's like, you know, how you um, scientists said, oh, you know, the Incas minds or whatever predicted it was like 1999, 2000 was going to end and all those different things. But they left that up there like that on purpose for you to be able to read it and it's just like no that's not what it was but it was just like yeah it's the end of an era and it's starting the beginning that's what it was it wasn't just like seeking to destroy life but there's a lot of things that's been destroyed and trying to build it up from the ground up you're noticing that through the earthquakes the hurricanes the floods is taking place um even though it's like a lot of people lost their lives on that and it's just like it is it's 
you know, it's destroying different things to build it up in a different way. And plus the people that passed away and any kind of, you know, uh, condolences to you because I know there's I forgot where's it Mississippi or one of those different places where they're having really heavy floods and there was a lot of people that didn't make out that you know they're play, putting their place on the rightful throne to be able to help out and whatever is taking place in the life we're about to take place so it's like a thousand forty four is being you know upgraded and while you're doing that and you're you know you're empowering yourself and you know when you allow yourself to be at chosen of free will and it's like you know universe be always waiting for that it's like the only time they step in when they see something about to be very detrimental detrimental i don't know why i couldn't say that word towards your life but other than that you're having free will to be able to do these different things making better choices for yourself and when you're starting to see that all these daggone gifts come coming um it's, it's like not gifts but downloads and upgrades is heightening everything you know you're starting to hear different messages through the ear ringing you know you're it, it just seems like you can understand um different you know animals that are coming towards your way that other people may not or you're seeing how everything unfolded in a certain way and it gave you that clarity that may have been set in um, confusion for you because it's like when i'm seeing different people it's like i'm seeing them in fire rituals again and it's just like your story is being told it's like you're going through that that fire ritual every time you close a chapter out in your life and it's making it fold and when it's making it fold it intensifies your vibration it, it upgrades your frequency and it's allowing you to see how you made choices of the old part of you compared to the new part of you and it's just like different things like that you know we seeing people go into caves i'm seeing how you can um god dog i don't know what that word is i want to be able to use but you're you're changing different hieroglyphs to where you are the only person not you are in a very few are only person that can um really trans translate what's taking place to have that that ultimate understanding on this is why this happened this is why i'm showing this to you right now you're in that vibration and now you're 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 on that vibe where it's connecting to you so you can understand that from a deeper you know in, insight and um when you're you're doing those different things decipher that's the word i was trying to look I'm like god what's that word you're deciphering different codes that's coming in like you weren't able to do it before and it's making you really see your growth what is like this is what was hidden from me this is that's why you're going through so much hardship that's the reason why you're going through so many spiritual warfares and you know people trying to put stuff on you and stuff like that because they don't want you to discover this stuff about you because you are your own cheat sheet you are your own cheat sheet because you're building up a whole new black platform and it'll be a, a blueprint that's what i meant to say so it'll be different things like god put this out for you like a testing or he'll throw you a bone just to see if you're going to throw the same bone back or you're going to create your own one and give them that new authentic one that's what he's trying to see are they going to see their self like i see them are they going to have that belief in their their self like i have belief in them do you see that confidence and potential in you that we have always seen that whole time are you using the different things that has came into your life to really empower you make you undestructible make you not be able to you can't touch me you know whatever that kind of craziness is coming to get into me it cannot touch me you know that you sent my way help me so i already know when it comes up again it's not going to bother me and these are the different things that's going on in your life where you're clearing so many th different things out and this is why when the more you'll notice the more you start uh clearing away what no longer serves you everything starts heightening it's like when i first started my first video and i'm getting a huge download and i'm trying to sit up here and talk and i'm like god dog why am i messing up on my words why does it seem like i can't put the words out that i'm trying to say in the visions that i was guided to my, it's like my third out of upgraded as well as having downloads and and uh upload up was it down was it uploads and uh whatever upgrades and downloads that's what i meant to say see doing it again hey okay thing dyslexia really done hit but it is going through those different things where it's like whatever gifts that you have has been intensified and you'll notice that because things start getting unbearable to you you're, you're feeling like you're detached from your your presence of that you know even though you feel things are really hurtful really uncomfortable right now there's a certain part of you that you know you're going to be okay you know that you're going to survive you know you're going to conquer you know you're going to survive this but you're going to be you're not existing anymore you know you're not going to be in survival mode let me put it that way let me retort you're not going to survive from that you're going to overcome that because being in survival is just like you no know, you know you need to be able to go move faster than that or you know higher than those different things and you're going through all these different you know trials and tribulations into your life it's like wow you know you really see how powerful you are just think of the things that you're doing 
You know, a lot of people don't have the courage to do what you do. A lot of people don't have courage to be able to face the music the way you have, and you created your own song to it. You understand the notes is being projected. And those are the different things. It's like, you know, seeing people in in the uh, fire rituals, and it's just like your vibration. And, you know, and it's like when I'm seeing it, I was like, you know, it's like, you know, people were sitting up here looking at their own, like, it's like when I see the fire that's coming up and it's just like whatever you're speaking on, it's just like the universe wants you to uh, tell us your understanding of what's going on into your life until this very point. Tell me what you've learned from these different situations. What are you seeing within from these situations that we guided you to take? You, are you allowing yourself to live fully in your warrior or are you doubting that? You know, and they want you to be able to see, did you learn what we sent your way? Because, you know, they'll send you so many different things and they're trying to see, did you understand what I, did you pick up what I was putting down? Did you understand from every angle on why this situation is happening the way it is? Are you allowing yourself to be able to stand strong unapologetically in your power? You know, um, allowing yourself to stay focused. It's just like a lot of times we get sent distractions just to see if we're going to be focused on our focus, on what's better, or you be focused on the, uh, on the distractions and a lot of times it's hard we, sometimes we go backwards and that's okay but as long as we allow ourselves to know like oh lord I'm, I'm so angry with myself it's like I wasn't discerning I wasn't mindful you know I still you know I lowered my level, level I lowered my vibrations just to be able to connect with somebody but then, then it's just like don't be so hard on yourself because you recognize what you did wrong and that, that's what they're telling you you are living breathing hybrid that you are really showing people is just like even, you know, our tribe, you know, that's going through so many different things they are so proud of us, you know, and just being able to say, yeah, that's a part of my tribe. She's a part of my tribe. That's a part of my tribe. I love him. I love her. You know, this is that person is, you know, representing us because we're representing our whole lineage of different things that we it, that people feel like it's impossible to overcome, you know, and you're really seeing your power like they can't give it us to us. At all one times, we ain't rap, we ain't equipped like that, you know. We, even though we spiritual beings, but we in a human suit. You can't give all that at one time. You wouldn't be right. You be walking around here just lost, stuck, busted, and disgusted, and confused, and not really understanding if you come and going. So it's just like the only way this can happen is you start accepting, you know, what was going on and being able to appreciate what was presented to you, whether it was negative, positive. Say, so don't see it like that. This is all about the gift of healing, love, light. You know, it doesn't hold a negative, even when it hits negatively, it gives you some kind of power of purpose through that harsh tragedy into your life. It makes you a lot stronger because if certain things can hit you to the core, they can make you end people in your own life, can send you down a very bad, you know, very bad path. But you chose to use this to empower yourself to be able to show that. And that was the point, you know, this is for us to be able to stop because it's like one person cannot change the world like that in that kind of way and some of them can't you know it just depends on what God said and that their vibration for it too because they can use a whole group to be able to shake the whole world and say this can't be possible this no this didn't happen because that's the reason why the devil's you know fighting so daggone hard because he knows whatever is merging into his life and you feel it you feel it it's like a volcano is about to erupt and when I see it oh my god I'm like what the heck is about to go on here because you feeling it you don't know exactly what it is you can't put your finger on it but you you feel it's at that boiling point boiling point it's just like if you have water on your stove or whatever like that or even a kettle you know it's like back in the day my mom used to have a kettle and um it, it was like uh what was it you know, where the different thing where the hole is, you know, be like, yeah, and it'll be singing off as soon as it's finished. And that's exactly how everything's going. You're going to your boiling point. You, you're being able to see the beast within yourself. And it's just like, dag, you know, not saying that you um, are below any, you know, anybody below you or you're not looking down at somebody, but it's like you recognize in your own power, you're standing in confidence. And a lot of times when we second guess ourselves, that can really, you know, make us distort you know that that confidence you have in yourself some people think that's selfish it's like no you supposed to love you you know you supposed to love you you have to be very selective about what you want in your energy to be very selective about how you look at different things in your life and it's empowering you in so many ways but it'll be just so so many different things where you know i see people walking through you know vibrations where it looks like the grand canyon or you know i see different people that it's like um Gosh, that's powerful too. Oh, Jesus, I just seen that. Um, like when people are doing these kind of ritual dances, and when they're doing them, you may have had that type of vibration before. Um, where I, I don't know whoever's this intended to, 
you know, this message is for you where you have probably seen, you know, yourself dancing, you know, or during the fire rituals. And it's like when you're doing it, it's the whole, your body just twitches and stuff like that. And then one comes up, your spirit is like, it, it projects out. And when you see it, it's like a dragon. <laughs> and you know, and there'll be, there'll be one, I'll have a phoenix that's coming out like you're dancing and stuff like that. And it looks so tight. And I'm like, God, dog, they should put that in the movie. But where you're dancing at and you're like feeling the vibrations, it's like Tai Chi. Or when you're dancing, that's a, a certain, certain form of exercise as well as meditation. But whoever these set of people are, if you've been seeing like spirit coming out of you and it represents something very powerful like it'll come out and you'll see a dinosaur or something like that or you'll see one of those big is like Braveheart anybody ever seen the movie Braveheart I love that mess but seeing that di that dragon like that really almost took me out but you know you're seeing something very like you're projecting what you truly stand for and it's just like people are like how did that happen so it's just like different things um, where I'm seeing a lot of people going through that and I mean that is very beautiful and very powerful because you're allowing yourself to recognize that that power source you got it within yourself and those are the different things that are coming out and it'll leave you speechless so it's just like everything right now is intensifying you know you, you see different things so you see people walking through the woods it's kind of like it looks like a uh, god dog what is that movie called oh, what is it god dog it twilight that's what it was where you see you know like when them daggone uh like in throats or whatever you want to call it the wolves and junk like that be coming and you just see people just morphing to them like damn that's tight and that's what i'm saying when it comes to different people like you running through those woods and then you, poof you shape shift and it, it'll just be different things like that so whatever ever is going in it is like it's heightened you know, uh, trans transmutation or whatever, but it's allowing you to see that inner strength within yourself, and you you're really embodying that. You really are, because I keep on hearing phase four, phase four, and it's, it's just like so many different things. It's like you're seeing people put war paint on, you know, in different colors, and then knowing that you're starting to, even if you really are not uh, educated on that, it is showing you different things. It's guiding you towards that. If you've been seeing yourself put on different war paint, the war paint stands for different things, or the, you know, somebody get Know, different things where some you know some people get those things branded on you like the Q dogs and stuff you know who they are they know who their tribe is because they show that and you'll see that symbolism so it'll be different people that the enemy can't see but the tribe will and because there'll be certain marks on you that they that was like oh that's part of us or you know it'll be different people are not in the 3d and you'll connect with them and you're like oh that's my soul connection that's my soul tribe and it'll be the different ones where you know different tribal ancestors like shamans the watchers you know uh different stuff like that is strongly connecting with your spirit and it's like that spirit is connecting with your power source the power source and, and the spirit but the tribe is bringing out that hidden animal into you and when it's doing that your gifts are intensifying it's just like with me i don't like being touched because it's like i'm like uh, don't touch me <laughs> i'm like don't do that even when spirit do it i'm like please don't do that because i start seeing stuff i don't want to see i don't want to know you know or it'd be different things like that or you you could be even speaking on different things that you thought about and next thing you know you see it play out in a, a movie or you see in a different thing where you may have a certain word up and next thing you know you hear somebody say it you're you know it is being echoed to you it's like you see what kind of vibration you're holding you know what kind of thing you cannot be contained and i keep hearing that you cannot be contained and these are the different things that your power source is coming to because it's like when you when you transform into something that makes you beautifully dangerous okay i'm supposed to be using that as content it's like you beautifully dangerous like no that's something about that person that holds the very most massive inner beauty but that person is a death you know that that person is deadly and it, it's just a lot of times i know I, I saw a post that i like that you know people feel like we're light workers everything's positive everything's negative or whatever um and people raise on on that for kind of some weakness but it's just like you know that beast is not gone it's just sleep <laughs> you know you really just don't know if that person can be so beautiful so powerful and so nurturing just think about what you do when you sit up here and poke that bear out of hibernation just because that's like that i'm very selective <laughs> you know so i'm very selective about what i tell but don't don't push that button you don't gonna like what you see you know be those different things but i'm seeing so much of that it's like i see these different people going through woods and then you look up and it's just like you're seeing every Easter egg that's coming past you. Like you may see a lizard crawling somewhere. Or you see, you know, a squirrel go run past you, but you'll see it before it sees you. Or you'll see um like a different snake that comes across you. And you're seeing these different things and it's just like, what is going on? 
and everything is like really intensifying really intensifying and it's just like you're trying to you know a lot of times it's just like you having so many overloads sometimes it's hard for you to connect your words with you know your words to your brain it's just like earlier i just had that on my first video oh my god dog why why is it have, why am i having an issue with pronouncing certain things or why do i have an issue trying to project what i'm trying to say you know be just like girl you just had a huge download and i never had that that vibration that frequency like i've had a lot of them because that's what i open myself up to the plug the source when i do that when i do my um, videos kind of like a verbal challenge uh challenge um channeling that's what i meant to say and but this one that was massive so um you know you're going through you know your uh your different gifts of uh, spiritual transition that's really hidden and really peaking and you know you may be not be able to comprehend what's taking place but it's going to start making sense to you so if you you've been having those different dreams or different uh things where you're, you're being led to you know look at a different language or you know take up a certain trade that you're not used to you're opening your insights towards uh different projects that universe is guiding you towards to work on um, or you keep constantly seeing the same spirit totem a lot. You, I mean, it's just like you walking through, what was it? Um, the movie I was trying to watch the other day and I said, I, I could not get into that movie, but cause you know, that just, it was a total letdown to me. I know, um, Jeepers Creepers. I was trying to get that one. I forgot what that the last one's called the Cathedral. I think the other one's called Re Rebirth or whatever, but it was just like, you always know there's creepers around, you always see those crows, but they had actually one, one crow was white this time, and I'm like, that stuck out to me, I'm like, let me go, you know, read this and this and this and that, and you know, it's just like examples like that, you'll see something that'll stick out, you know, that, that is really, you know, uh, intriguing you, like, you know, what does that mean, you know, and there'll be different things that's coming to you, they'll give you that deeper understanding of, uh, what's taking place, you know, so it'll be different things where you can go into different rooms and it's like your your that that ringing can intensify, or it, you're hearing different you know uh, messages in through the uh, higher ringing and different stuff like that. So it's just like a lot of things you're deciphering within your life that where you're um you know you're really open towards yourself and you're leading towards your you know you're connecting with that that part of yourself that needed to be acknowledged by you. So, I hope you were able to resonate with the content of that video, y'all. I would love to give a post notification shout out to uh, Alicia Wells. Um, who else is this? Oh, Spirit Warrior 11. Much love to you. If you're new to the channel, uh, welcome. You know, make sure you leave a, a, a comment down below and let me get a chance to know you as well as you're getting to know me. Um, all my contact information is in the description box below and especially I share my podcast on here as well is uh, different memes different uh, posts that can just uplift you to just give you encouragement um, and what else I, I did say podcast my podcast is there too I haven't did one in a while but um, I know somebody asked me about it the other day and I said hey you know I got some podcasts on on the channel but it's like you know it's it's uh, I haven't done one in a while, so that's there as well if you're interested in that. Or even interested in making, you know, having your own podcast account, you know, please get in touch with me. I would love to be able to help that as well. Um, what else? Oh, if you feel like donating to the channel, you know, Cash App is there as well. Whatever vibrations you're needing to keep going through your uh, your fruition, you're trying to bring your manifestation into fruition. Uh, those things, um, whatever you're needing is being sent to you a million times fold. Uh, so don't sleep on yourself. Always stay dedicated, determined, and motivated for that. Be consistent and persistent. Do not be compliant. Uh, you got, you know, your light, your potential is so strong. You know, devil don't like that. Enemy don't like that. So do any and everything to make sure you're discouraged or you doubt yourself and give up. Don't do that. You may want you to do that today because your blessing might come tomorrow or the next day after that. Keep going. Don't sleep. Stay woke. You know. Even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know. Those things can really take somebody a long way. And just because you did it from the kind of share of the heart, you know, it's take you even further. Please be safe and responsible at every single thing that you do. And much love to you. God bless. Much love. Namaste. Shalom. I say peace. <laughs>